Crowbar is a great rooster. How can you beat a rooster? He's never attacked me. He's never pecked me. Awesome, awesome rooster. These silkies are really sweet. Got a little silky egg. And I got me a Rhode Island red, Rhode Island red egg. If I can get it out of my pocket and I'll break it. No pocket omelets. I feel good about two eggs because I'm going inside here. And they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna break. Not my pockets, they're not. I'm determined not to ever break an egg in my pocket. No pocket omelets here, y'all. What's up, little quails? Y'all are good birds. Y'all are good birdies. Yes, you are. Got 21 in there. Most female. I got about three males in there. These guys are wonderful. They're gonna be going out here soon. They're going to a tractor. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you can't really beat the quail. If I had to start over, I'd, I'd go with the quail first. All right, I'm gonna get these guys fooded up. Y'all need some food and water. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Black Pack Homestead. Here on the homestead, we're uh, just taking care of some animals. And, uh, yeah, just having a chat, so keep on watching. What's up, chickens? Well, guys, it's been really good here on the farm. These chickens have produced well. And uh, I got a basket full of eggs in there. And, uh, yeah, life here is good. Just uh, want to thank you all for watching. <laughs> So I want to thank y'all for watching. There's going to be another round of stimulus, guys. Isn't that wonderful? I don't know. Ooh, these are not heavy. Morella's not feeling very well. She's inside the house right now. So she's got a headache. I had a headache yesterday. Everybody who works had headaches. Yeah, you're a good boy. So, yeah, I got, you know, just to feed these animals here today. It's, it's been a good day for me. <coughs> you tell them, crowbar. Tell you what, they really like this soldier fly larva. I think I probably paid, I probably paid about, I don't know, eight, eight, nine bucks for this thing. I like to be able to uh, grow some myself. <coughs> Looking into that. I think it'll be worth doing in the way of fresh protein for these guys. Because it is. They love it. They love this stuff. It's like chicken crack or something. I don't know. This bag here says it's 45% protein. 35% fat. 8% fiber. Crowbar, you're not making this easy, buddy. Alright, guys. You've had enough. Yeah, guys, I'm not telling you what to do with your stimulus checks or anything, but you might want to get some chickens. I mean, it's only a, a good decision. What's the worst that's going to happen, you know? You get fresh eggs, maybe some meat. Ooh, I know. You're a good bird. These guys here, the little silkies, are great. They, uh, they're good mothers. You get an egg, you know, maybe three to four a week. I've been getting them pretty consistently. White levels are going up. And, uh, yeah, it's just a good investment, guys. It's something you might want to consider. And if you can't do it, then look into quail. I know a lot of city ordinances have things on chickens. But uh, not so much on quail and rabbit. Believe it or not, more people ate rabbit back in the day as opposed to chicken. So anyway, yeah, you might want to use those checks they're giving you, you know, to get some things. Just some things, you know, you might need, so. You want some more, don't you? I'm sorry. You're all right, though. You're a good chicken. Yeah, I know. 
They're pretty too. Those Rhode Island Reds are just beautiful. The female's cone didn't get red until they got older. That's how we picked out the males anyway. And they do their little rooster standoffs. You know them when you see them. You gonna let me pet you? No? Okay. Fine then, be like that. I see how it is. You only come around when you want something. What's up, crowbar? What's up, Crowby? Sing for me. Alright, I need to get you all more food. Check out the garlic, y'all. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Garlic and blueberries are friends. Onions. What they don't like is grass. Blueberries do not like the grass. I know the colors on these blueberries don't do it justice, but guys, look at that. They're beautiful. Just all over it. Got my row of kale. Some of it I tried to transplant. Which wasn't a great idea, but I needed it out of my way. See, you looking a little wilty, buddy. You are too. Pretty much all you guys, so. Alright, I know. You had, to, you had to go. Check my soil. I don't know. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty moist. I think they're just shocked. I think they're just shocked from the transplanting. See, all these are good. Yeah, nicely mulched with spent hay and rabbit manure. I may hit these guys up with a little more water here. I hope they take. I hope they recede. If you guys don't have any red Russian kale, might want to get some. Uh, it's a very good plant. It reseeds itself. And for me, that's just a bonus. So it's less work I have to do. Unless I gotta, you know, dig them up and retransplant them somewhere. Y'all just look at that. My uh, fruit trees are blooming like crazy. Blooming like crazy. Maybe this year I'll get some fruit off of them. Last couple years have been pretty brutal with the insects. Guys, I gotta have some fruit this year. It's a necessity. What you doing, Lilac? What you doing, baby? You want some greens? Let me go dig up some greens for you. You pregnant, baby? You gonna have me like 20 babies? Break the world record? No? Okay, well... Maybe not 20 then. Hey, Mr. MacArthur, what you doing, buddy? What you doing, Bun Buns? You're a good boy. Oh, good. I'm gonna give him some mints here. All right, we're good. Look what I got for you. Look what I got for you. Is that good? Oh, it's good. There you go, Mr. MacArthur. MacArthur, come on, don't be like that. Look. Good boy, it's good. Yeah, I don't know if it is for all rabbits, but I can tell you with these guys, the, the females are voracious eaters. The males are a little more picky as to what they like. Females will eat anything, especially when they're pregnant. You will see them really, really, really go at it. And uh, because they got a lot of babies to feed. Yeah. 
And it's always kind of sad after they give birth because they're so skinny. I mean, they just get so skinny. But they're a lot of fun. I, mean, I like the rabbits. I, I, I like them. I keep them around. All right, y'all. I'm going to call it quits for today. I hope you enjoyed my little tour. If you uh, hit that like and subscribe button and rumble me up and all that good stuff, hey, go for it. So until next time, the Black Pack Homestead. Bye-bye.